Hi guys, it is me, Demon Rants here. Today, um, I'm not doing a rant today. I know that uh, video, you know, that what does the fox say, got a lot of hate. But I still keep it up. But I will delete hate comments. But anyway, other than that, um, today it's a, a bit different. No rants. I'm just doing another collection video. Um, I know, like, I did my PS2 collection. I know I didn't do it in this kind of format because... Seriously, I have so many PS2 games that it would take ages, you know, to um, to stack them all up like this. But anyway, my friend did a, like, you know, I was going to say top 10, uh, but his um, Xbox 360 collection. And he, that kind of inspired me. Like, he did it in this kind of way, you know, where you, snack, you know, where you stack all the copies up and everything. So I thought, yeah, I'll do it in that way. But um, let me just say before before I start the uh, before I start my collection, I'll just say that in my opinion, uh, PS3 is my second favorite console. I know PS2 is my favorite, but PS3 is my second favorite because PlayStation 2 is the best console ever. But this is the second best. Okay, the only problems I think were that um, I, I know that PSN maybe got hacked and wasn't as good as Xbox Live. And I know games take forever to update, but other than that, I can't really think of anything bad, you know, terrible about the PS3. And I know, like, fanboys and everything will say, ooh, it has no exclusives, but I'll show you them after. So, and also, I like the controller better. I have to admit, uh, my friend, I won't mention his name, we'll probably comment on this video, but my friend, you know, he, um... He says that he, you know, he doesn't like the PS3 controller, and he likes the Xbox controller better. I have to admit, the Xbox 360 controller is really nice. It, it feels nice and everything, and the triggers are just great. But other than that, uh, the the analog sticks are they're like I don't like the, you know, the where they're placed. And um, also, let's not even talk about that horrid D-pad. Ugh. Well, other than that, it's an okay controller, but I'm used to the Dual Shock. I've been there since the PS1 days. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, let's start it off with... Uh, let's see. I'll just... Oh, God. Um, sorry about that. That might happen a lot. <laughs> but, um... I know it's still got the label on, but this is a uh, Assassin's Creed 2. Won't talk long about this because my friend at school, won't mention his name again, is buying a PS3, and he says if I have any games I don't like, then yeah, I'll give the I'll give them to him. So I'm gonna give this one to him because, ooh, I really didn't like this game. I I it, I was really excited when I got this. I was like, oh, I, I can't wait to play this. I played the beginning and I was like. Yeah, it's alright, I guess. Yeah, just going around beating up the guys. But then, this is the bit that made me quit. I know I know, this is only 10 minutes into the game, or maybe about 20 minutes, but um, you're basically Ezio, and you have to like race your brother up the clock tower, and it's timed and everything. And, that, and then the controls are just awful. I mean, like, when you're trying to climb up a building, and, like, it just sends you right off. So, I, I hate this game, and I'm giving it to my friend. But he's giving me £7 for it, so... That's the back. Nothing that special. Oh. Let's just... Like I'm sorry that, um... Usually my dad, like, sets up a light, so it'll be lighter. But, um... I think it's okay. Next game, I know a lot of these games aren't my favourite when I'm starting, but they'll get better. This is um, Driver San Francisco. Mm, I got this for Christmas. You know, my dad is a pretty big driver fan and everything. To be honest, the first driver was like the best, you know. But Driver 2, never played it, but I've heard it's terrible. Driver 3, played that on the PC, and I really... Well, I guess free roam was fun, but it was so glitchy, and you barely had anything to do, and and there was no blood or anything. Um, so basically, yeah, Driver Four never played that, and now, well, I think there was like maybe a PlayStation Portable spin-off or something. I don't know, but this is technically the fifth in the Driver series. Now, San Francisco. Um, I got this, but I seriously haven't played this in ages. I'm not joking. I mean, see, I know this is like drive, it's all about the cars and everything, but you can't even get out the car to free roam at all. 
But I do like how, I think the way, you know, like Tanner, that's the guy there who's always in the games right there. Yeah, Tanner, he's like got amnesia or something. So basically he has to like, he, you can jump into cars, you know, like you, you can go into people's minds while they're driving, which I think is a cool concept. But I don't think this game's great. If you're into like Forza Horizon, I know that's an Xbox game, so I don't have it. But if you're into like, you know, um, open world you know, driving games where you can't get out of the car or anything, you can't free roam, then you might actually like this game. But it didn't really impress me that much. Next one, Batman Arkham City. I know everyone loved this game and that website, you know, that gave it like um I don't know, was it like um a six out of five, you know, some really preposterous, you know, rating. But um yeah, by the way, if you check out my friend's Xbox 360, you know, um, thingy, his collection is a lot shorter. Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm sorry about that, but um, a lot of people like this game. I didn't find it that special. I'm only, um, I haven't played this game since, like, months. Kind of like um, Driver over there. Um, um, I Yeah, like, I haven't played this game for months because... Um, I just I just couldn't get into the story. I like Batman and all that, but I just don't I just didn't like it. I found it boring and some bits were kind of frustrating. But I will not give up this game and, and I will I am going to play it re now. Um I won't finish the story because I've got all this stuff to finish. But um But yeah, um my friend told me that you can do challenges, you know, where it's kind of like a final Final fight, you know, Mad World kind of style beat em up. Obviously, not as violent, but um, you know, you can select how many goons you want, where you want it, and how hard it is. And yeah, and it gives you points and everything, and that's pretty cool, I have to admit. There is the back. <laughs> Dead ass. Sorry about that. Okay, uh, Dead Rising 2. Uh, uh, by the way, I have off the record, and I will get to that after, it's just after this, but this game, sorry, it's a bit, like, weird, I know you can't see, it's very dark, I don't know, but, um, you've all seen the cover of this, so it's nothing that special, but anyway, <clears throat> yeah, to be honest, I, Dead Rising, eh, I, I, I like the killing zombies, but I hate that timer, you know, it barely even lets you do anything. And I hate the psychopaths. They're so annoying. The only reason why I have this game is, one, um, I accidentally ordered it. My dad was supposed to get me off the record, which I've already got. And he got this by mistake, so I ended up buying both. And, um, two, I do, I do play this because, um, my friend doesn't have off the record. So I can play it with him online on, um, co-op. Because he's got, um, PSN as well. Okay, now, um, this is actually off the record. I do still play this a lot. Um, I don't play the story, like I said. I never really liked Dead Rising's story. Uh, I don't have the first one because it's Xbox exclusive. But, um, <coughs> but yeah, um, the reason why I play this is, um, yeah, this actually includes sandbox mode. That's why I wanted it. Because, um, it's absolutely no timer. There's loads of fun challenges to do. Uh, you just go around and kill loads of zombies. I'm up to like level 12, you know, because it's like kind of an RPG style, you know, leveling up. You can go to all the fun areas in the game, but the only problem is the psychopaths are still there. And this time, random psychopaths just storm out of nowhere. Like, I went to like five different areas on the map and just psychopaths kept appearing. Like, I went to the Palisades Mall and saw Slappy. I went to the, um, a thingy, uh, Silver Strip, and I saw, um, Randy, uh, you know, I saw Chuck, uh, flipping Chuck Green, I hated him in, in this game, I mean, he's cool in the other one, but he turned into a bad guy, and he's really annoying, he, like, it took me weeks to fight him, but anyway, this game's fun, and my, my other friend, you know, Drayton, he played this game, and he doesn't like the PS3 controller very much, but he did say he actually worked with this game. Super Street Fighter 4. <laughs> Sorry about that. But, um, yeah, this this technically, when I, I got my PS3 in December last year, and uh, I didn't really like it, so, and I only started playing it about April or May. And I actually got this game on my birthday, and it, this was like the first proper, 
you know, PS3 game I actually enjoyed. Well, I other than Uncharted 3, which I got. I'll show you that after. But, um, yeah, I really love this game. It, I know it has, like, the, the learning curve is a bit steep or whatever. And um, it's really hard to make combos. Seriously, when you... When you like do a combo, you know, a special move, you're literally there in amazement just How did I do that? You know what I mean? Seriously. I, I did it when I was playing Seth. But yeah, this game's really fun. Um this this is the reason why I bought two controllers. I also bought um a blue dual shot controller, you know, just for me. And you know, so my friends can come over and play this. But now I've got other games to to play double player as well. That's it, really. So it's like Street Fighter 4, but it's got way more stuff in it. That's the back. Now the granddaddy... <coughs> Wait. <coughs> now the granddaddy of them all. Grand Theft Auto 5. Yeah, yeah. I know it's very dark, the box, because I got the... Uh, what do you call it? Game of the Year edition. I won't show you the box, because it's massive, massively big, the box. So... <coughs> But yeah, I got the special case. But this game, mm, I thought it was alright. I, I didn't like the hype and everything. Like, I was really hyped for this game. I'm a big GTA fanboy myself, I have to admit. I was excited for this game, but I felt a bit disappointed. Like, the, the three-player thing was kind of cool. That's those three guys. It, I guess it was kind of cool, but there's nothing new. It's nothing like, oh, the second coming of Christ or anything you know in video game form but um even though the world isn't as big like there's only there's only a massive city in a massive country there's no like you know um it's not like you know different you know like parodies of american areas you know like in san andreas but it's a, it's an okay game i guess i haven't finished it though just because i've got i'm doing stuff now sorry about that gta 4 Sorry about that. Right. GTA 4. <coughs> eh, it was alright, I guess. Mm. Oh, like I said, this was also one of the, you know, first games I ever, like, bought on my PS3. Um, uh, I'll get to... I actually... Ballad of Gay Tony and um, the other one, Lost and Dam, was mine. But um, I still wanted to buy this anyway. So, um, <coughs> yeah, eh, this game was alright. I mean, this is definitely worse than 5. Because they tried to make everything too gritty, and the world wasn't big enough, and, um, yeah, like, it was just too gritty, and you couldn't do much, and the weapons were pretty bad. <clears throat> well, I guess they were alright, but they were just boring. And, <clears throat> even though the free roam is quite fun, the missions aren't very good. I've heard, like, I, I know I haven't finished GTA 5, but, um, the, I've, I've looked on YouTube, and the missions aren't that good. The, there's the back. Please don't fall over again. Now, uh, what the Liberty City stories, or episodes of no, not Liberty City stories, episodes from Liberty City. Uh, I will. I won't talk much about this, but it's basically two games in one. And I haven't finished Lost and Damned, and I don't really, I don't really care about finishing it because I've already done four. But I finished Gay Tony as well, though. So, nothing much to say about that. There's the back. Oh my gosh. It's back. Now, possibly like, other than San Andreas, my favourite Rockstar game. Red Dead Redemption. Oh, this game is so great. Even even my friend has it and he admits this game is great. Oh, this game, it's just breathtaking uh, the ending i don't know a lot of people know the ending but i won't um avoid it it's just so sad you know what happens but yeah um <clears throat> yeah basically i know it isn't it's a, it's a massive world but i know there isn't as much to do because it's not like an urban not urban but it's not like new york city or anything you're just in the wild west and this game got me into westerns and I like how you can ride the horses and the missions are really good. So this game's great. I won't talk about much. There's the back. Now, uh, Undead Nightmare. Uh, I won't talk about this m one much either. But I have to admit, I was really scared of this game when I first got it. I kind of pussied out. You know, 
because because unlike Dead Rising where there's zombies everywhere, this one you know the they kind of sneak up on you and shoot you. No, shoot you. I mean they and bite you. But um, the game isn't too. The the game isn't um, the game ain't that scary actually. And I actually was brave enough to pick it up. And the game's really fun. And there aren't many missions in it, so um, okay. There's obviously the missions at the beginning, but that's it. It's basically all you do is go around, you know, find zombies to kill. You have to clean all the towns out, you know, do stuff to people, do stuff to people, you know, help them in like a zombie-related way. It's really fun, and I heard this is DLC as well. Like it was first DLC, but then they actually brought it out. There's the back Warhawk um yeah I've been wanting to talk about I've been wanting to talk about this game for a while uh oh my god I can't I can't seem to balance it okay let's sorry about this but here yeah Warhawk um basically yeah um this game is how it's one of the best you know multiplayer games on PS3 but the but the game is really 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 hard. I'm not joking. It's about as hard as like Dark Souls. No, maybe not Dark Souls, but it's about as hard as Demon Souls levels. I'm not joking. But this time, unlike Demon Souls, you're fighting really hard AI. But where you can you know learn to get better and like eventually defeat them. But this, you're fighting against other people. And let me just say, you're gonna die a lot. I'm not a noob or anything. I'm getting better in this game, but the the most I've ever got in one match was four kills. And with those four kills, I had about mm, probably about 20 deaths, or maybe 30. So yeah, that's saying something. But um, <clears throat> other than that, it's a really fun game, and it's probably like other than Killzone, it's probably the Halo equivalent to PS3 and I know my friends like ooh ooh it's so hard I can't do it and everything and it's like I this is rubbish and everything but you know um but it, other than it being third person it is a lot like Halo I mean you can go in the jeeps and everything but I don't know if you can fly in Halo but um I don't know and also Starhawk I'm planning on getting it but um I don't think a lot of people play online anymore like I know a lot of people still play this game online, so if you if you're into like hard online games, then get it. It's really good, but you'll die a lot. Uncharted 2: Among Thieves, probably one of my favourite games of all time. Such such good replay value. Um, maybe some bits were kind of like annoying. Well, all games I guess have like a bad part. Well, not really that part, bad parts, but I know my friend is like, a, ooh, Uncharted's crap, ooh, and everything, you know, like, saying, ooh, Halo is way better, and everything, but, um, it, 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 but the thing is, um, he's never even played Uncharted, and I've played Halo, well, I've only played Halo 3, and that was like years ago, but he's never played this. This game is phenomenal, I'm not joking. Also, in the PlayStation magazine, it was said to be the best game on PS3. Well, up until, you know, GTA 5 or whatever took its place. Because, you know, they want to give Rockstar all the money. But other than that, this game, this game is great. And it isn't too long, either. Unlike, Uncharted 3 is pretty long, which I'll show you. I completed it about a month. But this, I only completed it about, maybe, like, a week. It's a really short game. But it's a lot. And it has lots of replay value. And um, it's got co-op and also online. I haven't played this online, but if you have a PS3 and you like adventure games and things, pick this up. You won't regret it. And by the way, uh, on the back, I know you can't read it because of the bad lighting, but um, it's all in French. Look. Uh, I can't be bothered reading that, but yeah. But it's all in French because I got it when I went to France on holiday. I actually saw it in a... Um, on a thing, oh, on like um, on a stall, you know, full of Xbox and PS3 games, and I picked it up, and it actually worked. It it works in English. It doesn't even. There's nothing French in this game. It, I think it's just because I have a UK PlayStation. So <coughs> I'm coming to the last games, but um, 
this is a uh, Uncharted three. Um, I know, like I. Uh, yeah, I'm doing a video. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> I'm having my tea soon. But um, anyway, um, like I was, like I was saying, um, I don't have Uncharted one. Um, I might pick it up, but it, it isn't as good as the sequels. But um, basically, um, I know a lot of people hated Uncharted three. I'm not talking about Xbox fanboys, but you know, fans of Uncharted. But I, I thought it was really enjoyable, and this was actually my first PS3 game. I'm not joking, and I got Game of the Year edition. I think it actually came with the system. Like, I got the Super Slim. I know you'll all be like, ooh, the Super Slim's been noobs. Like, it looks really ugly, and it breaks and everything, you know. Always, like, f people complain about the Super Slim, but I don't care. It has way better graphics and everything. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, Uncharted 3, um, is, I know it's a lot longer, but, um, I actually played this game twice. I, I will, I'm going to play Uncharted 2 again. Well, this game is amazing. The graphics are just stunning. And unlike Gears of War, where the characters look very, you know, kind of cartoony, but kind of realistic, all the characters look, you know, pretty real. And, by the way, I don't have The Last of Us because, um, I'm not really interested in survival horror and all that kind of stuff, but I'll pick it up one day. <clears throat> and before I just leave this one, um, I've tried to do the multiplayer and it isn't working. So um, if I if I like get the multiplayer to work, I might actually do a video. And I've heard it's a lot like Gears of War, you know, hide behind walls and things. Now, da -da 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 <laughs> Sorry about that. But this is Little Big Planet 2. Now, my friend, I won't call him a fanboy because he might get upset, but my friend is a massive Xbox 360 supporter. But he admits that this game is great. And it is, it really is. Well, I do have some nitpicks. The campaign is absolute rubbish. I mean, I know, sure, I know lots of people like it, and, and I have to admit, it's really stunning to look at, even though it's a cartoony game. Like, you couldn't do this for the Wii, could you? <coughs> but, um, <coughs> yeah, um, the, the campaign, uh, it's just really, it's not, it's not hard or anything. <coughs> well, usually, like, the last levels at the end of, you know, each world are, are really hard to do. And would take you, like, a couple hours to finish. But other than that, like... The levels are just frustrating. I mean, you you can't even you don't even know what you're supposed to be doing half of the time. Well, that's like me. So I had to like you know look on look at walkthroughs to do this. And but I'm not. But the best thing about this and the reason why I bought it is um is creation. Like creation is just great. You can make whatever you want. It's kind of like Minecraft, but um it's third person and uh. <clears throat> and it's it's a platformer you can make your own platform levels but the only bad thing is obviously you have to do the campaign to get you know more stuff so i'm just gonna watch a few walkthroughs and try to get through through them without turning you know my game off in rage and by the way i don't have little big planet one because the game doesn't really have a miraculous story or anything so um i don't need to get the first one now finally, not going to say much about this because I don't particularly like it, but Gran Turismo 5. Uh, it's, a, it's a racing game. That's all I can say, really. Again, one of the first PS3 games I ever got because my dad is a massive... <coughs> Ugh, excuse me. My, my dad is a massive Gran Turismo, you know, fan. So he really likes this game. <coughs> It's not the best in the series. I mean, four is definitely the best, but um, it does have the best graphics, and I can't wait till Gran Turismo Six comes out. I won't compare this to Forza or anything because they're basically exactly the same. So yeah, that's it really. <coughs> well, I'll just turn it this way. So that was my uh, PS3 collection. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll probably do more videos like this. Like I know I've done my PS2 collection and my PS3 collection now. Uh, I won't do PS1 because I don't know. I've just lost all my games for PS1, and they're all copies anyway. So other than that, um, 
thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed and any like you know fans you know Xbox fans who feel like you know insulted that I made fun of Halo don't be okay both systems are great well I like PS3 better because it has more exclusives but other than that both systems are great and I don't I don't like console wars and things sure I get like kind of fanboy sometimes <laughs> at least I admit it but um yeah both consoles are great um apart from the Wii but anyway yeah don't don't argue they're both they're both wonderful systems so um yeah that's all I have to say and I might do some update videos like um like my PlayStation 2 collection I just found like Crash Bandicoot um it's not it's not yeah tag team racing and some other games so um yeah um I'm gonna review them as well and also um I don't have God of War which I might get because it has some rude bits in of which I don't think my parents will allow me to get but um other than that yeah and I might get Killzone 2 and 3 so anyway um goodbye and I hope you enjoyed my video peace <coughs> oh guys by the way I'm sorry uh I did forget something I will edit this at the end of the video but um I also forgot the um the game Infamous like in my um, collection obviously I have the collection behind me but um yeah for some reason I forgot this game because I left it downstairs but anyway infamous um <clears throat> this is basically the PS3 equivalent to crackdown a oh excuse me uh, an Xbox 360 <clears throat> an Xbox 360 game where you play as like some super powered cop and he goes around the city like I said never played that game but it's probably my favourite game on Xbox. But this game is the kind of the equivalent to it. Um, you're basically like this guy called Cole McGrath. It's this uh, guy on the front, and he's like, he's like um, some like you know um, what do you call it? Bike courier. I'm thinking like some say like a newspaper boy or like you know um, he like delivers goods. Uh, but then he opened a package and it blew up and it gave him electric powers. I won't reveal anything else in the game because, uh, spoilers, but the whole game is basically him wondering why he got these powers. And also this game is extremely open world and um, I know like when this came out there was a lot of controversy because it was um, a lot like the game Prototype which I don't have but I want to get but I'm getting Infamous 2 instead. But um, I will get it one day. But uh, the controversy was that they both came at the same time, and they were both like superhero sandbox in a city game, basically. Um, but um, the thing is that Xbox owners obviously had to go to Prototype because this game is exclusive because it's made by Sony and Sucker Punch, which made the Psychos the games, which I don't have, and I don't know if I'll get though because I'm not really interested in that like, in those type of games. Excuse me. Uh, but anyway, like um, it uses the Sly Cooper engine. <clears throat> like uh, the graphics aren't similar. The graphics aren't the same. But the way you the way you climb up lamp posts and the way you stand on top and you know how you jump like are exactly the same as like Sly, Clo Sly Coopers. But anyway, more back to Infamous. So basically, you can recharge by pressing the um, trigger button. You get more electricity. Uh, when you progress through the game, you get more powers. Uh, you can, unlike Prototype, where you always you always have to be evil. In this game, you get a choice. Well, on the back, it also says heroes being being a hero is optional, and it talks about being good and evil and everything. See, if you like hurt people and stuff, it it turns your lightning red. That means you're evil. And if you like, <clears throat> you know, heal like injured people, then uh. <clears throat> it um, turns your lightning blue um, so yeah this game this game is really good but like I said it isn't perfect <clears throat> some parts are really annoying and like the side missions especially are really repetitive and yeah the game's just really repetitive like I said um, <clears throat> well I was uh, saying it again but um, basically there's three chapters where you fight three different you know types of enemies and the game to me, it, it isn't that hard. Like anyone can like pick it up and play it <clears throat> because it's because it's a sandbox game. Like there's no timer or anything, so you can do what you want. And the missions are always the missions are always there, you know, for you to just walk into and do. 
and um, and the only hard thing about this game are the bosses. The bosses are really hard, um, and also the massive golems made out of trash. They're so annoying. They're just like these ginormous monsters. They take they take about an hour to kill. In, until uh, they took me about an hour to kill until I realised you have to shoot the arms off. Okay then. So I am on the I'm on the final boss, Kessler. I won't reveal Kessler's identity because um you know, spoilers, but he um that that's the only part I'm on now. I'm at the ending and he's just so hard to fight. But I've been doing other stuff like school so I haven't had time to do it but um I'm nearly at the end of this game and for Christmas I'm getting Infamous 2 and I'm so excited to get that. It looks everything from the first game looks like it's been improved. You're in a different area. Okay, I'm looking at you, Crackdown 2. In the exact same area. Yeah, we're not in the exact same area. But, um, <clears throat> basically, um, yeah, and I know, like, a lot of prototype people are, I know prototype, people like prototype more than this, but, um, a lot of people admit that Infamous 2 is better than Prototype 2. Well, I'm really excited to get that game. And also, <clears throat> I'll just turn on to the back. There being a hero is optional, all this guff. <clears throat> so yeah, basically, I'm sorry if I keep coughing. I just have like something in my throat. But anyway, yeah. Um, I can't wait to um, I can't wait to get my new games for Christmas. And I will also do an update. Like, I'm getting um, Incredible Hulk Ultimate Destruction for PlayStation Two. I'll also include that in my PS Two collection um, remake. Not, uh, not remake, uh, update. And uh, I'm also getting Just Cause 2 because that game looks awesome and I will <clears throat> and I will review it. Infamous 2, like I've said. PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale, even though it may it may not have loads of loads and loads of, you know, original characters, but it's a decent game. And uh Yeah, that's it really. Um I might get Fallout 3, but I don't think I will. So that's it. Um, that's my PS3 collection. I hope you enjoyed it. And sorry about this misunderstanding, like, you know, um, me forgetting to show Infamous. But that's all. That, they're all the games I have, um, you know, up until now. So thank you for watching and goodbye. And I hope you've enjoyed it.